In these problems, we're looking at how numbers are ordered on the number line, you know, what comes before or after what. And specifically, we're looking at negative numbers, which can be a little bit confusing. In terms of comparing negative 8 with negative 6, we're being asked, you know, to fill in, is this greater than, less than, or equal to? Well, it's clearly not equal to, they're not the same numbers. But you might be tempted to say that negative 8 is greater than negative 6, because that 8 is bigger than the 6. But when the numbers are negative, it really means the, the biggest negative number is actually the smallest number. Because small goes that way on the number line, big goes that way. Here you have zero that's right in the middle. So one is bigger than zero and two is bigger than one. Well, negative one is less than zero. Negative two is less than negative one. And you keep going until you get down to negative infinity. Same over here. You go all the way up to positive infinity. So in this case, negative 8 is less than negative 6 because it's in that direction on the number line. All right, let's look at another one here. This one says, what number is 5 spaces to the right of negative 3? So the right is that way. So we start at negative 3, and we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we end up at 2. So the correct answer there is 2. But that, asking what number is five spaces to the right, well, when you go right on the number line, that's adding. So this problem is really negative three plus five, because we added five spaces. That equals two. Let's look at another one here. This one says, which shows the following numbers in order from least to greatest? So the smallest numbers are going to be the negative ones that actually are the biggest negative numbers. So let's see, I've got a negative 4 here, I've got a 5, negative 1, 0, 1, negative 6, and 3. Negative 6 is going to be the one that's the very smallest number, because it's most toward the negative. Then let's see, let's cross that one out. I think negative 4 would be next. And then, let's see, we've got a negative 1. All the negative numbers are definitely going to be smaller than the, um, the non-negative numbers or the positive numbers. And then we've got 0. Oops, I forgot to cross out negative 1 there. And we've got 1, and then 3, and 5. So those are the numbers ordered from least to greatest. Negative 6 is the smallest one in this group. Positive 5 is the largest one. So I guess our answer here would be C. So that's a little bit about the number line and negative numbers.